Now in the continuing saga of the Dinky Dino. Um, more parts have been designed and like I said in the last end of the last video, doors. So here's the door design. Um, it's got nuts around it um, which were an absolute pain to do because for some reason I didn't know how to get a I couldn't do a constant restraint from the edge of the curved, even though I put geometry, geometry in to get gauge them all exactly the same in, so they were a bit of guesswork. Um, there's the centre bit for the handle, where well, I've made it a little bit indent, even though you don't really see it. It might show up once it's painted, but as it's not painted at the moment, it doesn't show up that well. And then we've got this bit at the top, like a, it don't go all the way through, but it's like a, a spy groove you can look through for the doors. Now with the the completed item there's the door. I hope you like it. You'll need a bit of sanding we're after a bit of primer just to take a little bit of this roughness off not too much. It leaves sort of a patina otherwise. And then the next part was the handle there's the handle. It does have a little nut in the middle which I printed separate. It was a bit easier. But this handle just goes in the middle just right. And here's the handle. Don't know if you can see that or that's focusing. See the little nut on top and the pin to go in the door. And then they just go together. like so and uh, it'll just need a dab of glue once painted but uh, like I said I've done them like a sort of submarine door where well, they look very bulky and all that now fitting them onto dinky I will fit the doors but I'll leave the handles in the bag because I don't lose them um, until the final paint and fit and they'll, they're just simple a simple bit of glue um, so what I've decided is to put one each side behind the windows at the front and one in the middle on the rear. So it'll be three doors. So I'm going to get them all glued on and we can have a look and then we'll see what you think of those. There we go. Three doors are fitted. There's one. Equal the other side. And then one dead centre rear so that's pretty cool, I'm pleased with them like I said I'm leaving the handles off so we, those are now complete now I've got to think of what's going on in this section here here's the design for the grill it's um, two millimetre gaps with two millimetre bars with a four millimetre edge The um, other side there is a one millimeter depth so it uh, gives you space on the inside so let's get the computer out of the way because we don't need to see this anymore and uh, show what we're going to do next with the grills now there's two sizes with the grills I'm going to have one each side of these and only one on the roof I've gone for and to make them look a bit better, I've got some uh, panel repair. Well, it's ice upon repair, but it's actually I class more than uh, bodge repair if you use it on a car to fill a gap and put filler over it. Um, we're going to cut some of that out and fit it in the back. So I'm going to get that done and then we'll fit them to the body. There we go, the mesh is on the back and I think it looks quite good you know it's little things you see and you think oh I can use that and it is really good to use the old um, uh, baking powder thing oh sorry the mesh and then use baking powder hold it on because it don't exactly stick to the plastic hence the baking powder so now I'm going to get these on and uh, 
we'll see what it looks like. There we go. This is one side of the grill. This one's only having a single because it's like an off-angle mirror of, and because like it's chopped down, there's no roof grill required. So that one's nicely done there. Let's put the roof back on. And if we rotate it, see this side it all lines up. Slight adjustment. And the grill lines up with the side. I've done it on top because it's easier than trying to make them recessed. And this is one of the things I've noticed when I've looked at the Class 66. Some of them have them on top, some of them have them cut in, some have completely different ones. So even though it's built by the same company, there is a variant on how the main body is coach built. The basic design is there, but certain things are different. So this completes this video. I'm going to put some pictures up outside so... If you don't show up properly in here, you can see them a bit better out there.